whole immigrant population in Boston has also changed, and, and uh, uh, the, the the countries of regions uh, has, you know, it's it's one of the few uh, con uh, cities in in this country where, for example, majorities are not Mexicans, right. and um, and now a lot of Central Americans come in from uh, Honduras, Salvador, Guatemala, and and Colombians uh, with a level of education. Uh, I'm not criticizing the former uh, immigration, but a higher level of education with a uh, with, uh, um, mentality of prosperity, of working and, and prosper. Right. Uh, so the behavior of, of the immigrant population has also changed. Uh, do you agree with that statement? And uh, oh, I mean, we don't really see it a whole lot. Again, uh, you know, uh, we deal with people and how they interact with us. So I... I yeah, I, I really can't talk to that because I, I, you know, we just deal with whoever we, you know what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. don't dig into their background and figure out where. So it's hard for me to answer that question to tell you the truth. Le, le dije de las diferencias en la, en la inmigración actual, eh, que ahora son muchísimos los países representados en, en la ciudad de Boston, y, y que si, y ahora hay muchos inmigrantes de Centroamérica y Colombia que vienen con un grado de educación con, buscando oportunidades, prosperidad. Eh, que si sí él ha notado esa diferencia y el comisionado hace énfasis que ese no es el, el enfoque de ellos. Ellos no, no están viendo de qué país eres o, o, o cuál es tu, tu uh, origen, sino eh, básicamente mantener el orden. Eh, your marathon uh, yeah. experience. How many marathons have you run? Uh, 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 run 47 marathons. 47 marathons. Yeah. Say, what, what, when was your first marathon? What age? Uh, I'm not trying to find no, out no, your age. No, no, I think it was uh, back in 1987. So I was probably about 27 years old, 28 years old. And, you know, I, I always thought people were crazy who run marathons. I think the people are. Yeah, <laughs> but once you do one, I got addicted to doing them, and I enjoy doing them. Okay. Eh, le pregunté al, al comisionado sobre su experiencia maratonista. Para los que no saben, ha corrido 47 maratones. 47 maratones desde 1987. Saquen la cuenta de cuántos maratones. Tenía 27, 28 años en su primero. Él pensaba que los corredores eh, de maratón eran locos. Eh, después de que corrió su primer maratón, eh, se hizo adicto a esta... A esta eh, at the exercise of the Korean Marathon. Any international experience in Marathon? Well, I went to London, and I've been to, I've, I've run a few in Canada, but not further than that. You know, I, I have my Baba, who's a Greek, and he wants me to go to Athens in November and run the original marathon, but I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do that. But I've gone to a few countries, but, uh, but mostly all in the states, like I've done New York a bunch of times, Chicago, Washington, D.C., Walt Disney, you know, uh, I did in Jan just this past January. Eh, le pregunté si tiene experiencia internacional con maratones, me dijo que ha corrido el de Londres, ha corrido varios en Canadá, y lo están convenciendo de que vaya a correr el, 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 el origen de los maratones, que es en Grecia, en Atenas. Eh, you mentioned international travel. What, what other countries have you visited? Well, you know, obviously, you know, places like Bermuda. Mm -hmm. I've been to uh, London. Uh, I've been to um, Switzerland, Germany, Austria. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, th that's been mostly it for the most part. You know, London a couple times. My brother lived there for four years, and me and my three kids, uh, which I have three children, mm -hmm. 24, years old, 22 years old, and my son's turning 17 next week, so I travel with them when they were little. Eh, le pregunté sobre otra experiencia de, de viajes internacionales, ha estado en, en Londres, y, um, y su, sus viajes han sido básicamente con sus hijos, tiene tres hijos, eh, 22, 22, uh, 24, 22, and 17. Next. 24, 22, 17, all boys? Uh, no, my oldest is... 24, my 24-year-old daughter, okay. and then a 22-year-old son and a 17-year-old son. So we have to bring you to the marathon in Rio. I'll go. Or, or, uh, or, or, or Buenos Aires, which are famous, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you give me the invite, I'll come. I, I love 
go in different places. Me dice que teníamos que invitarle a un maratón en, en Rio de Janeiro, en Brasil, o, o en Argentina. Any message, Commissioner, to the community? This is, a, this is a, I mean, we're very honored to have you in, in, in our show and, and you know, give us your moment to this uh, uh, local TV independent. There are 24 cities in Massachusetts yeah. uh, looking at you right now. So what would be your message as, as a leader uh, of one of the strongest uh, police departments in, in, in the world, I would well, say? Uh, well, I'd just like to know that, you know, if they come to the city, uh, uh, which I hope they all do, to enjoy the city, or uh, whether they live in the city, it's a great city, and they should feel safe coming here. And I want them to enjoy it all. I have a great police department. Um, you know, we practice community policing, and, uh, you know, th the community is our true partner. Uh, we couldn't do it without having these great relationships with the Latino population or the African American. So I just want them to know that if they come here, we're their police and we're their friends. El, el comisionado pues le da la bienvenida a cualquier persona y la invita a que visiten a la ciudad de Boston y que la policía es, uh, es, es su amigo. I forgot to mention two key questions here. Uh, one is your opinion. Uh, as you know, many of the undocumented population, which is many, uh, don't have any type of ID or identification. And that's part of the, of the panic yeah, sure. when, when there is a, a, a report, an incident. Right. It's difficult for somebody who has no ID right. to go to the police and say sure. somebody it's, it's uh, potentially being uh, you know, right. a crime there. Um, and uh, the governor, which I personally agree with his position, Governor Baker, of, of saying that the immigration problem is a federal problem. Right. But I oppose him when he is against a, a drive license for undocumented right. people locally because right. that makes it hard work for 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 the victim or, or potential report re, report of a crime and also for you guys. Right. Too. Right. So what would be your opinion on that? Well, I haven't really taken an opinion on the driver's license issue to tell you the truth, and I'd rather not get into the politics of that. And, you know, I, I, I'm I, we've been, I've been talking to my mayor. Mayor Walsh, who's obviously were very supportive of it, but honestly, I've never really thought about it. I, I, I don't see any problem with that as long as, you know, they can speak the language. And so if we, sp we pull them over, um, we can have a dialogue and as long as they understand the rules. So I wouldn't be flat out against it by any means, but, you know, I, I, I think um, we just have to look at the feasibility of it. So. Obviously, if Mayor Walsh is all for it, then I'm all for it. El, el comisionado le pregunté sobre su posición con respecto a las licencias para indocumentados. No quiso dar una, una opinión muy firme, pero sí dijo que no estaría en contra de que una cosa sí sea autorizada, porque, y, y a, aparte, si el alcalde eh, eh, lo impone o está de acuerdo, él va a estar eh, de acuerdo con la eh, imposición. Another question from uh, one of our audience, what's your opinion on Uber? I'm not a, you know, it's interesting. I'm not a, a big fan of Uber because we've had several incidents involving Uber. Um, just this past week, we locked up a Uber driver for a sexual assault. Yeah. Two nights ago, and it hasn't been reported, um, we also locked up another driver who got a girl into a car and sexually assaulted the her. The new area. It, right along Stavo Drive. Mm -hmm. So my problem with them is I've asked them to let us fingerprint them and to have stronger regulations, and they don't seem to want to go along with it. Our regular cab drivers are under strict regulations, and we closely monitor them. We don't have that with Uber. So I just want people out there just realize who you're going into the Uber driver uh, car with because, you know, there's some who take advantage of young ladies out there. Right. Um, so can I, let me understand well, the, to um, translate it well, the, the, you are not against the business model of Uber. You're just, you just want to know regulation. exactly who are the drivers. I want Uber like the, uh, the, like the way you know who the drivers of a taxi are. We highly regulate our hackney. We don't have these regulations. We want to know who they are. We want to make sure they're fingerprinted. We want to make sure their vehicles are inspected. So people get into safe vehicles. You know, we just want to make sure that everyone going into their vehicle um, um, is safely protected. And I always say, we're about public safety. Uber's about, pro about safe, uh, making money. We want to meet halfway in the middle. 
eh, le pregunté sobre Uber y su posición es que él no está de acuerdo con la manera libre en que los eh, conductores de Uber andan en las calles sin ser, eh, eh, tener sus huellas digitales y ser bien identificados. Él no tiene problemas con el modelo de negocio de Uber, pero sí que deben ser regulados de la misma manera como son regulados los eh, eh, conductores de, eh, de, de, de taxis en la ciudad. Muchísimas gracias, comisionado eh, Evans. Thank you so much for your time. I hope uh, we have another time with you soon and, uh, and keep talking about your, your, your friendly leadership with the community in Boston. Well, thank you for, for having me on. I really enjoy it. And again, anyone needs the Boston Police, we're here for you. Sí. Bueno, lo escucharon. Si alguien necesita la policía, aquí está. El Any social media connection with you? Do you have a Twitter account? Or I don't. I'm not into the tweet. You know, obviously, I got to get one established. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I obviously, I, anyone can call the commissioner's office here if they need anything. But um, I'm not on tweet, Twitter yet. 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 Okay. All right. Thank I think I'm going to have to be on it. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Y llegamos al final de Panorama. Muchísimas gracias. Le damos al Departamento de Policía de Boston por habernos eh, dado tanto el tiempo del comisionado como de sus facilidades para transmitir Panorama el día de hoy. También le damos las gracias a nuestros patrocinantes. Campeón Soccer, la tienda donde se respira y se vive el fútbol en el 285 de la Broadway en Chelsea. Glad Family Dental, un centro de salud para sentirte en casa en tu propio idioma. Los dueños hablan nuestro propio idioma. Eh, el periódico favorito de todos los latinos, El Planeta, elplaneta.com, todos los días, 24 horas, 7 días a la semana. Leslie Ditrani, una abogada de migración de todos, donde su eslogan es unir a las familias en los Estados Unidos. Y Copa Airlines, la línea aérea de toda Latinoamérica. La línea aérea que te conecta a Boston con más de 50 destinos en toda Latinoamérica. East Boston Neighborhood Health Center, un centro de salud de toda la familia y la comunidad, del edificio más bonito enfrente a la Maverick Station en la línea azul, East Boston Neighborhood Health Center. Nixon, mi estilista, en el Salón Platinos, en la 49 de la Meridian Street, 59 de la Meridian Street, en East Boston, Nixon, quien hace magia con el poco cabello que me queda, y por supuesto mi equipo de producción, Mari Carmen Pérez, en la asistencia de producción que hace que todo eh, salga casi a tiempo, y por supuesto Raúl Castro, el único comandante que no le hace daño a nadie, detrás de las cámaras, la edición, el audio. Muchísimas gracias por haber estado conmigo. Este canal, esta hora, toda la semana.